Like, is that what happens to dads? Like, the second you become a dad, that's how you sit on a couch it's just now? The, it's just the only way for your body to fully relax and still be able to <laughs> yeah, sit up enough to you, drink. Nikki, I am ready for fatherhood. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it's like to grow up in the 80s? And he has sitcoms and where's the beef ladies? Then you need to listen in your car or at work. Now it's time for Keith is a Jack! Bar for your stupid introductions in which you worked yourself into a corner. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Ryan, like this is your pretty- worst one so far. <laughs> Easily. The best by far. Easily. Oh, what is going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Keith is a Jerk. Uh, I am joined, of course, by my co hosts, and we have Ryan LeClaire. What do you say, Ryan? I enjoy it when you call me Big Papa. Yeah, well, there we go. Uh, and of course, tonight, what do we got? We got Dave. What do you say, Dave? Uh, that's right. There it is. And we got Bobby joining us. How's it going, Bob? Hey! Oh, Bobby's drinking. I love it. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so what are we talking about today? I think we're going to do injuries. I, I'm sure, like, I, I mean, I guess when we grew up, right, everybody, we just had so many more injuries. Like, my kids have little boo-boos and shit like that, but... Well, Our kids are not, like, they're not allowed to even run at recess right. anymore. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're playing, like, tackle football. I didn't know yeah, we, we were... were playing, like, fist fighty. You yeah. know what I mean? Like... Uh, so we're setting the, the parameters right now as physical injuries because hey, growing <laughs> up... I can tell you a whole bunch of <laughs> a whole bunch of abuse that I suffered, but uh, all right, we could just do a sequel to the. I bullying would say one. we've got eighteen episodes in the bank of emotional abuse so far. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll focus on the the physical ones, and I'm not even talking about like here's a punch in the face that you can't go to school the next day, or the teacher's going to call child services, and then my dad can't work. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, so let's start uh, when we're like little kids. Like I, I've got one. That, uh, so uh, I guess I'll just start. So I used to have to walk to school in kindergarten. Okay. So let me paint that picture. Hello? Five years old. <laughs> also unheard of by today's standards. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, unheard of by those standards too. That, this was not. Yeah. I love the mentality back then in the eighties, we had something called block parents where yeah. just, there'd be somebody who put a sign in their window that said, come on in hold kids. On, hold on. I'm going to call it now. Bobby, your mom was 100% a block parent. Um, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I had it. God bless For that sure we had woman. one of those. We had one of those signs in our, yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, loved, well, I definitely could have used one this day. I loved every <laughs> single one that I popped into. <laughs> Dave's just going and hanging yeah, out. Yeah, just there for the milk and cookies. I'm just looking for some kind of attention. <laughs> <laughs> the old man's like, dear, the fat little lesbian's back if you could make him some pie. <laughs> Uh, so I'm five years old and I'm walking to school. Now I know, you know, I mean, every parent, it's your duty. Once you become a parent, it's ingrained in that you, you have to tell your kids how far you walk to school. Right. Right. Like that's, that's not uncommon. My kids, they walk like around the corner. It's ridiculous. They still, you know, every day my daughter be like, did you drive? I'm like, you have legs. You're fine. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I looked it up today cause I thought, well, shit, wait a minute. I was five. Like that's, if it was around the corner, even by those standards, maybe like just sending me out to fucking pedo dodge. And <laughs> I was like, I looked it up. I'm like, it's like one and a half kilometers. Like that's too far for a five year old. One way. Yeah. Each way. Each way. <laughs> and, it, and I mean, it, I'm, I'm not even good with geography. Like anybody who knows me knows that I cannot get around. I have, I used to have two GPSs in my car just so I wouldn't have to make the mistakes. Um, so anyway, five years old, walking to kindergarten by myself. And uh, as I'm walking down the street in my own little world, all I hear out the corner of my ear is no, 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 no. And I look over and it's too late. There's a dog. And now I, I don't know how big this dog was, you know, but big enough to a five-year-old, right? Like, right. I'm sure it looked like a fucking dire wolf bearing down on me. <laughs> anyway, it just latches right onto my ankle and oh. just starts shredding my leg. And I'm screaming, right? I'm just mm. five. Like, I'm freaking out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then, uh, and the lady's like, no, stop, stop, stop. The dog jumps up and then it bites my fucking ass. And I'm still freaking out. Now... Thank God there's some little hero out there. I wish I knew who this kid was because he fucking, he was awesome. Uh, he's delivering papers. Uh, oh, so that sh- hold on. So Bob? that should tell you right now. Um, I had to leave er- that early. <laughs> you know, he's doing his paper before school. It takes a five-year-old that long to walk. Uh, anyway, so out of the blue, this kid just comes running over and he just boots this dog uh, to get it off me. 
And then to tell you just furthermore what a piece of shit this lady is, she starts yelling at this kid for kicking her dog. <laughs> I'm like, your dog was just biting a five-year-old kid. Uh, so anyway, she takes her dog back inside, yelling and cursing. And this kid's it helped me up, and he's like, you know, I'm crying and stuff, and he's being awesome, and he's like, and I'm like, I, this but, kid is far braver than I am now. Let's just get that out there. <laughs> no like, I, I, no, would, I didn't somehow think I'm that not we cross paths again and be like, oh, Ryan, are you the kid who saved me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Bob, so, did you ever save a poor kid from a dog while you're doing your <laughs> paper paper route? No, never. But I, I'm just going to hold uh, just for one second in this story, Keith. We've seen your your legs, your ankles. We've seen your ass. <laughs> How good of an aim did this dog have? Did he just think he was like catching like a newt, like a fly in the middle of the air? Or you just got in the way? I don't know. I will say this dog was probably great at catching sticks. <laughs> in fairness, she may have thrown a stick and this dog may have thought my leg was what she used to bring back. Uh, entirely plausible. Until this moment, I'd never thought of that, but it, it, it is possible. Uh, uh, so anyway, so, um, yeah, you know, it, it's funny too. Now that you say that with the paper boy thing, was that ever a part in the game? Like, cause you used to have to hit the dog with oh, the right. paper, boy, paper, right? Yeah. I don't know why that didn't resonate more with me as a child playing that game. <laughs> I probably fucking loved doing it and never knew why. Uh, anyway, so this awesome kid, uh, helps me up and I mean, he's, he's just a kid himself, right? I don't know. He's probably eight or nine. Like mm -hmm. he's, this isn't a big kid. Um, and I'm so terrified of not going to school that he's like, okay, well, let me just go. I'll drop my papers off and I'll take you to school. And so, uh, this kid's amazing. Bring in his Jeep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he had a white van and, um, no. So he walks me to school. Uh, I assume we went to the same school and, uh, drops me off at, at my, uh, kindergarten class there. And I'm, it, that's pretty much the end as far as I know it. Right. I'm like, okay, that's mm -hmm. fuck it. I got bit by a dog. Let's just get on with our day. Mm hmm um uh, for starters I should show you how popular i am nobody's talking to me about this that's the, <laughs> that, that, that topic should have come up um we're sitting in class on the little carpet there crisscross applesauce and my teacher is doing we do show and tell right and it's like uh who's got something for show and tell show and tell show and tell, you know and you're like everybody's singing along and mm -hmm. it's not my day though mm -hmm. right but so uh this kid goes up talks about whatever and this is like one of my earliest memories i still remember the teacher being like okay well does anybody else have anything for show and tell i'm like oh, yes i do <laughs> i can go <laughs> and so i put up my hand and um, and she's like, yeah, uh, shithead. And, uh, <laughs> and I just lift up my leg. I'm like, I got bit by a dog today. And blood is pouring out of it. So. <laughs> Completely unchecked. Completely unchecked. This and is probably so after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. So this woman lets out a scream, like an audible <laughs> shriek. And the worst part is I'm kind of freaking out because now all the kids, they're like trying to get away from the blood, you know what I mean, coming out. And like, I've turned into this pariah. And I thought it was going to be cool. I was like, I thought I had something fun for, I'm like, who's got something for show? It's hell show. I got something for show. And, and she's screaming. And then she's like, uh, and so obviously then it becomes a thing. Uh, and this teacher was amazing. She was such a good teacher, but I, I do question, you know, we did attendance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I walked through the little line and nobody noticed at this point. That's a weird one. Sounds like you went through a full round of show and tell and that you were into the, <laughs> yeah. the extra rounds. Yeah, we're the we're extra almost at innings. snack. We're almost at milk and cookie time. Um, and so I had to go to the nurse and, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, did you guys have a nurse at your school? Do I don't remember. Now? I remember there I being a shitty do. little like bed. There is a, like, yeah, a, little, there is a, like, a little like room or whatever, but the, I don't ever remember there being an actual nurse. No, there was a nurse's I office. I think the, uh, the vice principal used it though. It, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had ours was in the janitor's room. He had a little bed set up there. Yeah, with, uh, like I think the, there was like chains on it just in case. Right, you know, like the kids needed to be restrained. <laughs> right. or whatever. Really good um, audio video equipment. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Betamax uh, video player and stuff. Yeah. Um, no, so anyway, so the nurse is checking it out and she's cleaning me up. Uh, I just like to point out, still parents not in the picture at this point. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's nobody's answering the phone at home. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely one at the home. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and they're there. They're not working. 
That's right. That's right. One of them's working. One of them's just eh, nap time. You know, you don't bother me during press your luck. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, no whammies, no whammies. Stop on my leg. <laughs> and uh, so she's trying to clean it up. And she's like, okay, did the dog bite you anywhere else? So I'm five. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and she's like, it's okay. I'm a nurse, which is <laughs> debatable. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. I'm, I'm a lunch lady. <laughs> I'm a janitor. It's cool. And uh, Touch this uh, <laughs> can of manwich. <laughs> where, where the dog bit you. <laughs> Show me on my dick where the dog bit you. And uh, so I'm like, uh, okay. And so I pull down my pants. And she's like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, you bit me on, like, in in the whole part. I got bit on the asshole. <laughs> she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, this dog sunk its teeth into my asshole. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, still, no parents. <laughs> so they uh, they take me to the, the whatchamacallit. Oh, no, so that's this is it. So I, did, I didn't go to the hospital. She cleaned me up. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the panic sets in of like, well, wait a minute. Whose fucking dog is this? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Like, they don't know. She's like, you know, is, does it have fucking rabies or anything? Right. Like, right. this is a five-year-old telling you. Uh, and thank God they brought the kid down um, who who, uh, who rescued me there and everything. And uh, I remember the principal being awesome to him. And oh, here's the best part. So my principal, I actually forgot about this. So he's like, well, let's go see. And this principal must have, like, that's a good principal, man. Like, yep. he was like, let's just go. Because we didn't know where the house was, but we could, you know, the paper boy was like, I could show, he's, point he's it He's going to wrestle up a posse. That's right. right. We're going to find this. Yeah, dog. yeah. My principal's going to go shit kick some lady and her dog. <laughs> Very nice. Same principal who got knocked out, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some fucking anger, dude. He's like, oh, I hope I can take her. And, uh... <laughs> So we get down and he's knocking on this lady's house and she comes out and she's still yelling. Mm. Like she's still mad. And, uh, and he's just like, like, look, we just need to know is the fucking dog got rabies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Jesus Christ. So eventually he just calls the cops and everything like that. And the cops come. And so he's like, okay guys, let's get you back to school. And I still remember him like going, Whew. he's like, that's a, that's a far walk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was pretty far. This is, uh, this is about the half checkpoint. <laughs> That's right, not even. This is where I get into my water bottle. <laughs> That's where I drink my fucking jugger I, every day. I set up camp for the night if uh, it's raining. Uh, and so, anyway, he he was walking back, and uh, we we went back into the nurse station. I still remember this. It was I thought this was so cool of him. He went to uh, he the, the principal drove off, went to McDonald's, and brought back McDonald's for this kid and I. Oh, that's cool. Um, that was yeah. amazing. You know what I mean? Like this kid was so happy. This other kid, he's like nine years old, right? So he's like, "What fucking McDonald's? It's not like it is now where you get McDonald's every day just when you yell and tell your parents to go fuck themselves." <laughs> you know what? Boy, no. I cannot so- wait to have kids. Yeah. <laughs> you guys make it seem like it's a riot. <laughs> it is great. My kids don't do that, but I see parents that fucking get their you shit. Yeah, I'm just kids. gonna say too, this vice principal's buying. You know what? He bought the the hero kid some McDonald's. That's great, but knowing that you turned out to be the little shithead that walk away is throwing rocks at people's windshields. And like he just like, Oh, poor, hmm. you don't deserve McDonald's. No, no, I didn't. That, I was just, I, I just happened to get fucking bit. So it is, make it is hero. awesome. Yeah. yeah. I just, all I deserved was getting my goddamn leg wrapped up and sent back to class. That's all. I, get the dog out of your asshole and let's move on with our day. Uh, and maybe, it, so- maybe a couple claps during show and tell. Right, yeah, you know, like maybe don't all everyone, including the teacher, freak the fuck out and move away from the bleeding kid. <laughs> Someone help. That's- uh, you know, whatever. Maybe I doubt that was covered in teacher's college, though, in her defense. Did your parents actually <laughs> find out about this, or? Here's the topper. Not once. Come on. Still didn't know. Like, my principal called the house, and he's like, oh, do your parents both work? <laughs> nah. <laughs> 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 Knew they do not. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was the time I got bit in the asshole by a dog. That's cool. Um, yeah. My earliest memory of, uh, an injury happened, like, I can, there's certain memories I have that are imprinted in me for some reason, and, like, this one is one I can remember back to, like, I'll know the reason. (laughs) Do you, like, do you guys remember back before, you like, you could walk or where you could crawl or talk, really? I have, like, one memory of being in, like, my crib. Really? Yeah. You know See, what I mean? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. One that just for and some just, reason like, smoke filled room. Yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> I remember, you know, remember those headphones that like uh they they curled up instead of like yeah, straight yeah. headphones, they curled up. 
like the a, old brown was, ones or my, whatever? Yeah, my dad was an old music guy or whatever. And one of the first memories I have is trying to like peel that thing off my neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's yeah. kind of in the same vein. My One of my earliest memories happens to be of me looking backwards. And but like it has cause comes with audio as well. Like me looking back at my dad in a typical like we had a like a three colored seventies like shag style carpet and shag style yeah. couch set setup. Yeah. But yeah. my dad like still sits the same way on a couch where it's like his legs are both on the couch and he's yeah. he's got the one arm on the armrest and he's got a cocktail in his left hand, right? <laughs> and is like but his like other hand's kinda holding his head. And now is that just a dad pose? Yeah. Like is that what happens to dads? Like the second you become a dad, that's how you sit on a couch. It's just, the, and... it's just the only way for your body to fully relax and still be able to sit <laughs> yeah, up enough to you, drink. Nikki, I am noise. ready for fatherhood. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a noise that comes with you sitting up and standing Bob text up too. Nikki, bring me baby. Bring me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, this memory consists of my dad and just I remember him looking at me. And this happened, I guess, when I was probably just two, and a, two almost three and like uh, or no, maybe even earlier because I was just learning how to walk. And OK. And I like I started running and mm -hmm. uh, my dad's just I just remember the face. And as I'm smiling, I remember being so happy looking back and it, my just stone face with a whiskey in his hand like don't run. And just <laughs> <laughs> in that cop, voice. yeah, and just a, in a just a just an almost apathetic, like, like yeah, I should tell, don't run, like just please. It's kind of like a burglar running away on him while he's got like into a corner. It's just like oh, don't run, stop in the name of law, David. Yeah, don't make me do what I have to do. Yeah, because it never ends up good. And he shoots you both in the back. And there's wisdom in his in his dulcet tone because like right. again, I'm just new on my feet, and I remember I turn around and the lat and uh, like I I trip forward. And mm -hmm. and I just I remember the last thing I see is my dad's face just the same as then I turn my face around and I look and it's the corner of like the stairs and the oh. corner of the wall but they remember they had uh, these protectors for the corners of walls and they're like a metal like you'd actually yeah, yeah. put the, the metal yeah yeah and so anyway that's what they do you just take old knives and then you bend it around the but the corner. but it was actually <laughs> so this vertical corner. My head catches about six to seven inches off of the ground, catches Christ. the corner, and splits my entire forehead wide open. Oh, and it, I think it was the first night after my mom and dad had split. I think it was the very first oh, night. Jesus. Are you shitting me? I think it was the, so this is the first day with just your dad in My church? first day with just my dad. And oh, boy. Yeah. Listen, I can take care of David, okay? Mm. He'll no, be fine. No, I'm, I'm sort of sensing, like, now that I hear how young he was, Dave might be the reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like I can't fucking handle this kid. <laughs> I'm out. Don't anyway, run. I love the shit out of you, lady, but this kid. <laughs> no, no, it worked. It, it. I don't know if he loved any of us. <laughs> so maybe you should put yourself in a glass with some ice. No, it's <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, my dad loved the shit out of his boys. He was always, always good to I'm us. Just but he, had, man, it, like the next thing I remember was just my head wrapped up in a giant towel and like getting stitches like bored into me after that. And then right. the memory's gone. Like I don't really remember the pain or anything like that. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just, mm -hmm. I vividly remember my dad's, uh, my dad's pose on the couch and then blood. <laughs> right. And then every now and then I catch myself in the exact same pose. And then I worry, and I get, <laughs> I get this. I think I've seen you in that pose. That's what's so. I great. get a sense of panic, Dude. and I look for my kids. I'm like, <laughs> can someone's you, uh, hurt. Can you turn on the webcam and just show us how you're sitting right now, please? <laughs> um, Since we turned it off, I'm naked now, so no. <laughs> in that pose, I think I got my first. Stitches Wait, hold on, right hold on. I just want to ask one question. Yeah. So, with that though. <laughs> Like, I know how expensive those shag carpets were. Oh. So did that just stay? You know what I mean? Or did your dad have one of the crime units from work come and clean it up? Well, luckily enough, I think it was like an orangish kind of reddish. It was, it was, already, right. it was, it was already, okay. a nice crimson Your dad color. just kind of danced you around the floor and speckled up the rest <laughs> yeah. of the match. And then he's like, all right, now we can go to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Those must, have been, paint can. those must have been the worst, eh? The shag carpets? Yeah. Those things are hideous, man. They smelt so bad. Oh, yeah. You can't clean them, really. Like, it's just no. shit getting into them, and there it is. 
Exactly. We had a shag yeah. carpet at a, in, in our high school, like in our music room until like we, I until graduated. Until the bacteria I killed someone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> till, yeah, until they found somebody in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird like y- every now and then you wonder why high school has stopped doing like music programs and whatnot our okay. high school had like t- 25 kids using the same like four instruments every well, day this is, this is what i was gonna say mm-hmm. like you're talking about the bacteria in a shag carpet is the least you're worried about the fucking eight fat kids on the tube yeah. that are sucking in the same shit uh i think i got my first stitches right around the same age dave was <clears throat> barely able to actually i could walk and i could run and this is kind of vintage parent uh, in the 80s, too. My parents just completely left me alone for, like, five minutes. My mom, would like, drove my sister to something. Just let me run around like a lunatic, and that's exactly what I did. I remember I was running around the house. So, wait, you're house. all by yourself? All like, n- bo- nobody's in the house with you. Oh, there. that's cool. Like, that used to be a thing. I, I, How yeah. old were you then? I have little I ones down. I, every now and then. Wow. Yeah. I'm so tired. Three four. The look on people's faces when I tell them the story these days, they're just fucking appalled. Yeah, I don't know if it's any better what my mom was doing, yeah. but, I mean. <laughs> so... I'm literally just running laps, and I trip in the kitchen, and the dishwasher is open, and I fell, and much like Dave, hit that. Are you sure your mom didn't want you to die? (laughs) Just going to leave you alone for a while, right? Like, she leaves the dishwasher open. She's like, the oven's on, and the door's open. Knives all. Knives (laughs) everywhere. All the doors are open. Just have have a little bath. Got the toaster just teetering on the side there. Whatever happens, happens. If you you feel like going out in the forest wearing your meat sweater. (laughs) Coat hangers have been just lying around for years. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. AIDS filled needles Go yeah. ahead so much Sorry darkness. Keep going uh, So I fucking fall And like Dave I hit the corner of my eye I've still got a scar there And I just start it's, if, if you can pinch right there It doesn't hurt at all But it bleeds so much uh, okay. So I yeah, start yeah. just pouring blood out of there And I'm by myself For like five minutes <laughs> So I'm like Okay uh, Why didn't I your mom do... just take you? What's that? Why didn't your mom just take you? I don't know I've, Again there, That is a question For this, this is... year's Thanksgiving Every now and then You just need five <laughs> minutes away From your kid You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's mom took a little vacation, that's all. <laughs> she was actually in the driveway the whole she time. She's just out having a smoke yeah. like I can't <laughs> fucking handle this. So I go into the bathroom, I go into the medicine cabinet, and I just start taking band-aids and putting them on my face wherever there's blood. And there's blood everywhere. I'm a kid. I don't know I'm supposed to put it on the cut. I put right. it where so by the end I look like the Phantom of the Opera with this fucking <laughs> Like vintage Ric Flair with just this blood and these things. I don't even know if I was taking the back off these band-aids. I might have just using the blood as an adhesive. So I'm done. And I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, cool. All right. So I Good go into the job, other room. Ryan. I go job. into the den and I like start watching cartoons or whatever and kind of forget about it. My mom comes home. She's like, I'm home. And I turn. And I'm like, hey, mom. And she sees this mess of like blood. And well, you look like the Toxic Avenger. You know what I mean? It's like the same color as your skin, but you look like Sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> got an eye hanging about a foot below her <laughs> yeah so she sees me she starts screaming she's like right and i'm like uh mom i got it like hello i put band-aids on it so i'm she, grown now mom yeah uh so yeah she took me to the hospital it was a full five stitches i had to get in my fucking eyebrow yeah. i would i would like to hear your mom trying to explain that to the, <laughs> the, the doctor. she will be more unapologetic today than she was then <laughs> i'm sure it won't be like uh no i just stepped out for you know 15 minutes mm-hmm That'd be no. He just ran. I don't even. I was right there, and I just missed them last second. <laughs> and that's the funny part. If I if if I told my mom that, she'd be like, "What a terrible mother." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Press your luck. <laughs> All right, who's up? What do you got, Bobby? What about you? You must. You're a sports kid. You must have had injuries galore. I remember. So okay. So let's just think about an alternate universe in. Where uh, me as a kid, You're loved by your little, children, yep. little little Bobby as a kid, he's a he's a little fruity. Let's just say that he's pretty sure. ambiguous. Let's yep. stretch our minds. So much different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure I feel like every time Bob runs down the road, like the the old Sesame Street theme song plays. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I just picture those shorty shorts, mm-hmm. little mop of hair. Yeah, except it's played shirt. about half a step lower. <laughs> and, and just about, on the two and about, yeah and just about 15 bpm slower and a, and a couple more minor chords in there oh. <laughs> i remember i think i was probably what eight or nine and i was like yo mom 
I was I wasn't like yo mom. You're, you're pretty. Thuggish. I was like wow. mommy, mommy, um, <laughs> mother. Mommy, yeah. can I have some pudding? Yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm, this bowl cut sucks. I I want I want to shave my head. Amazing. I want to I want a real haircut. So yeah, yeah. like and like I haven't had a real haircut ever, and this is her like precious Bobby's hair that we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. So finally she buckles. I go and I get my head shaved, and I'm so happy. It's like Friday night after school. Like skin we head go, shaved? yeah, I go and get yeah. my head shaved, like down to the nub. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and i remember having baseball practice that night or that weekend and we were playing for some reason we couldn't use the diamond so we were just having practice in like the middle of, of a field okay and the coach threw down some bases and stuff like that so it kind of like messed with our like eight-year-old selves we didn't really know what was going on anyway so so we're taking turns catching the ball at first. Somebody's throwing from third to first, and I'm, yeah, you I'm know, baseball. <laughs> yeah, but we're we're waiting in line for our turn to catch the ball at first, okay. right? So everybody in sequence, and uh, for some reason, I was standing there, and I think that uh, I was standing too close to first base and had didn't even see it coming. This huge softball hits me right in the eye. Mm. Oh my god! I'll be a hundred percent honest. I thought you were gonna say. Everybody was like being way nicer to you, like thinking that you had cancer now. <laughs> I was say, usually, there's only one type of eight year old that has a shaved yeah, that's head. Right. That's, and you know, it's, it's usually the one that John Cena goes to in the crowd. Right. And, like, yeah, gives, uh, exactly. Right. No, too. everybody was talking to me. They're like, oh my God, we didn't know you were like a boy. We thought you were a girl this whole time. <laughs> and cool. You're a skinhead, I guess. Yeah. yeah and then, and then whammo. So I went to school Monday looking like the toughest kid ever with this <laughs> no shit, shaved eh? head. Like, picture, like, Big honestly, black guy. the most innocent little bobby wearing like you know cardigans and shit and then <laughs> you're ed norton in american history yeah for the nazis he hasn't let his hair grow within like with like shorter than five inches since <laughs> it's, it's I, re- like, I really haven't no. yeah <laughs> like just a, got smashed by this black that was my first black eye that's a bad luck omen <laughs> but it was a black guy that did it. It was a yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. That's why he it went. Might have been. I don't Jesus. know. Oh, black eye. Sorry, I literally thought you said yeah. I haven't been since that black guy. And I was like, ah, holy shit, Bob. I'm right. Like he thinks you're a skinhead, and he chucked the ball at your fucking face. <laughs> I have like a, a very like very similar story. Kind of the same thing about probably the same age that Bob's talking about. I was playing third base, and again, I was. Uh, in case you haven't heard the the podcast before, I was a little bit on the. Uh, I was on the jolly side of. Uh, jolly, jolly, <laughs> jolly, can't stop, won't stop, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Food goes in here. And uh, and I, but I, my as for my hair, I had the lovely shaved back, but it, and then kind of eighties spiked up, kind of like. Uh, I thought you were gonna say long at the. You just, you just shave your back as a kid? No. I don't know. But either way, I wasn't, I wasn't looking at flex. So I was playing third base, and the cutest little girl came around, and I kind of got talking to her, and my my buddy. Uh, that was me. My buddy, yeah. <laughs> my buddy was playing uh, as pitcher, and I don't know, like, I'm, I was already okay with the glove and like I had uh, don't know how many times you see it in baseball, but the pick off the third throw uh, yes. when the third baseman's not looking is usually not <laughs> successful. So I keep your head up. I used to get fucking furious at you guys. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giggling and I turn my face back towards the pit, the play. I don't even yeah. see this ball. And oh. so I, I, then I look over the pitcher and he's already got like, like his arms already down i'm focused on him oh, yeah. and then i'm out <laughs> like all of a sudden it just goes blurry it, like it looks like he's thrown something and i don't know what it is and no then no idea then it's just an eclipse and all of a sudden <laughs> the next thing i know it's like the lights go up it's like four minutes later and all of the kids are around yelling for a teacher or whatnot because <laughs> i'm not like and also that'll impress the ladies <laughs> yeah and so you don't want to go out with me jennifer <laughs> nobody <laughs> nobody nobody dated me and I was, she's long gone yeah she's gone anyway was she with the guy who threw the ball at you <laughs> probably 
<laughs> and so the the worst part is I think I was in and out the whole time. I think I would like got some ser- like severely concussed. And so because I was out and then like I didn't really regain consciousness until I got back to like the office. But here's the thing right. about the trip I remember and I didn't really remember it until now. I I like the teacher showed up and the kids were all panicking. And then I remember being in a wagon because it was a, like my female vice principal. Oh, had, like took you to the hospital or something? No, she just couldn't lift me up she off the ground. It. So she had to go get a wagon from the gym. <laughs> like a red wagon? Are you shitting <laughs> put me, me in a wagon <laughs> to try to drag you doughy me. little fuck. <laughs> and then, so instead of being an adult and being able to carry a kid off, the, like she's like, and the field was far away from the school. I don't blame her, but she just like, she looked at that and like that must have looked like, oh. she looked down at my chubby little last and looked at the school and like, it look, must have looked like Everett. You know what I mean? I want to I want to get that teacher and just hear her trying to tell the story about throwing her back out, lifting up the fat kid <laughs> into the wagon. Because like, I be think what ended up happening because we we're like it was there's no pass or anything. It was all like a rooted like there's tree roots everywhere. Like there's yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. smooth. It's just sand. I don't know where the fuck you went to school, and, but okay. And uh, so eventually, I think halfway through the trip, my concussed ass had to get out of the wagon so we could keep going because the wagon oh couldn't God. go any farther. The port. <laughs> okay, we had the portage. My fat ass. <laughs> 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 okay, I want to backtrack a little bit because I want to think about this now from like uh, a maybe. Can scenario. I just like, ask Dave one question, please? When you were when the concussion went away, were you like, you know what? I'm gonna talk to that girl. <laughs> Someday there's gonna be a dance sponsored by Mr. Big, <laughs> and I'm gonna make my move then. You know what? Yeah, the you know the what? little girl who was talking to was probably like, oh my god, another lesbian playing softball. What are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> To be honest with you, the reference, Ryan, that g- same girl, that was the Skid Row tape girl, the girl who was supposed to make Amazing. me. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so here's my theory. You're on third. Uh, Buddy is on first, and he's already chatted her up when she's on first rounding it. <laughs> oh, so he's fucking in. He's he's on cloud nine. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, my God, she is the most beautiful girl, and she likes me. She's laughing. And then he looks over, and he sees the little lesbian girl on third base <laughs> trying to chat her up. <laughs> And he's like, fuck this. And he just wings it in at you and concussed you and got the girl. Uh, no. No, he was no, he okay. was actually, to be honest with you, his back life story was a lot more like yours. But he was like the okay. he was like a super. Well, well he, then that's he, exactly what that's exactly what I would have done. He's like, he was, I would have thrown the ball right at your fucking little face. He was this blue he made eyed, her a motley crew tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I'd have to write it all out because I can't afford it. He was just some poor kid that just always made the wrong decision morally, right? That was this kid. (laughs) What what kind of monster am I? Uh, uh, Yeah, all right. That's fair. When you've got Um, that much time to walk to school in the morning, a lot of things go through your head. Yeah, time, man. This is. is, uh, I'm running out finally, you know? I mean, I got no ideas left for movies. I had all those years of uh, walking to school for. 45 hours <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest with you i had the same kind of thing i had an hour of after my mom dropped me off to, for school and then an hour because she went to work for like 8 30 so it wasn't bad right. a half hour before school but like the teachers used to have to hate because they'd wait around like because my mom wouldn't come get me to like 4 30 <laughs> school got out at like at that time like 3 tw- like 3 15 yeah yeah and all my teachers weren't waiting for shit they're peeling out they're almost hitting kids on their way out <laughs> yeah like, like, they're not- you want to talk about just a big old poster for pedos i was out there beside my school i do i guess and i uh <laughs> i was like i came up with this whole little world in my and my side of by like my side of my school that like oh they've got a whole little world too yeah (laughs) but like there was like a fort there was like i actually came up with the whole like layout of a house in the middle of this field i had like (laughs) pretend lightsabers i man i could go through the whole list and stuff i was creative some kids some kids have an imaginary friend you had an imaginary alternate life <laughs> yeah. with a little house yeah like you know role yeah, models that is when what they poor look... kids do though that is true <laughs> you know the movie role models where the kid's like up on the roof doing his right yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, me yeah. every day after school except oh my God, with amazing. sticks i didn't have a foam sword i was poor <laughs> <laughs> um the one thing i will say about that I, uh, speaking of how long it is to get to school i do remember one time showing up at class and the teacher was like oh i marked you absent i'm like what why and she's like, because it's 11.15. And I'm like, what? And I look up at the clock. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm really late. Yeah. All right. I took over two and a half hours to walk to school. 
It was back. It was like in the winter, you know, when the ice first forms over the puddles and you got to crack all the oh, little... Oh, yeah, uh, the long way. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a day well spent. Oh, what am I going to... Fucking two plus two is nine? I'm fine. And probably your parents <laughs> woke up like, like, Keith, you got to go to school. It's already like nine. I'm like, all right. Oh, they've already called home to ask why I'm absent and there's just no answer. Yeah. <laughs> I've only broken one bone. I broke my elbow playing basketball. I like fell back and hyperextended in and uh, so... Uh, After a dunk? <laughs> yeah, <you're> funny. <laughs> Left-handed. <laughs> It was actually <laughs> a dunk on, on an eight-foot rim. Right. So my friends uh, drive me home, and it's like, I don't know, 11.30 in the morning or something like that, and they drop me off uh, under the quote-unquote care of my parents, and I go in like holding my elbow, and I'm like, guys, I hurt myself. I, I, I think I need to go to the hospital. And then just my mom and dad look up at me like they're both just sitting down to breakfast with like bacon. They're like, how hurt are you? Are you right now go to the hospital or maybe you're not you, warm bacon hurt. Yeah, you're not warm bacon hurt. So we I told you down, about sports, Ryan. <laughs> so I think I went down and I played like one handed Sega Genesis for like a half an oh hour. Oh my god, they really? Had... <laughs> oh, that's amazing. They finally, they finally took me to the hospital and they're like, oh, he really had a broken elbow, like cast and all. <laughs> One in <minute>, Sega Genesis. <laughs> Your dad's yelling at you for being shitty at the game. <laughs> God, are you ever gonna get good at that thing? See, I don't know what it was. Is that maybe my dad? My dad might not have been that shitty because he might have. He would have <laughs> used guilt and like it would have seen then obviously lasted for like I don't know like forty years or so. But uh, <laughs> but that's amazing. I think he still would have got up from his bacon. Wow, that's fucking funny. I, I think I can picture your parents, though. Like, just that noise. Guys, I think I broke my elbow. Like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I remember I playing British Bulldog. Right. Yeah, go ahead, Bobby. Oh, British fucking Bulldog. And I remember not being allowed to play British Bulldog. <laughs> but we did. And it was one of the first times I played. You and, rebel. Ooh. And I, <laughs> we were playing Nightsy Stabsies. Bob's all feeling <laughs> rebellious about playing fucking British Bulldog. I didn't really have... Um, I was told not to, but I did. It's right, I did. That one, <laughs> one day I did. And I, uh, I didn't really have Dave Thompson momentum back then. <laughs> <laughs> Dave I, Thompson was a little eight-year-old juggernaut. I was. It's stopped. exactly it. Stopped. <laughs> They're like, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call the little, I don't know, whatever the thing is, wearing the figment of my imagination hat over. So <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's me. Hey, I'll skip over. So I start skipping over, obviously. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> and I I got clotheslined so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just like it was like uh, it was like running into uh, like a like a steel pole, like a horizontal steel <laughs> right. pole. It was just 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 hit and instantly down, winded like crazy. I ne I didn't want to play ever again. <laughs> exactly like me trying to do the high jump. <laughs> That's not British Bulldog. That's Red Rover. You know, oh, you it just was red that. Yeah. Wait, which one is British Bulldog? I think now, you, you just try game? and push somebody in, until they fall down. Basically, you what? surround them. Are you serious? That's yeah. like a, like a gang beating, yeah. right? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Oh, then we That's played British, British Bulldog. Bulldog? Then British we played Bulldog. British Bulldog every other day. <laughs> <laughs> they were just beating up the white supremacists, Bob. That's not really. <laughs> It's so crazy it's to think to about sense. like how did teachers not lose their jobs in the eighties and nineties for like their their shit recess monitoring. Right. <laughs> because that baseball game, like I guarantee it took fifty minutes for that cart to make its way out to my concussed ass. <laughs> but I remember too, there's another doozy. There's a little Asian kid named George. Uh and I won't uh I won't, get, won't say his name. Yeah, yeah I, I won't say his. <laughs> won't say George's name. I won't. Keith, I won't would you give, care to do an impression of this name. kid? You don't know. <laughs> Keith, you want to give us some voiceover work on this one? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, George was George was a little bit shorter in stature than than most of the kids his age, and we you, for some reason we got it on us. We had a teeter totter on our our uh, school playground, and okay. and so there was a bunch of kids that decided like. All right, we're going to go on one end. Another kid go stand on the other side and like we'll do right. like flips and shit. Mm. And right. and so like some of the kids like myself or whatnot, we'd get on it and I try to get on it and like five kids like nah! and like I just <laughs> kind of walk off. Anyway, <laughs> there's other kids that were like able to like get <laughs> 
<laughs> other kids got up there pretty good like and but would land right. uh and then everyone's like oh george 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 and so we got george on the end of it and i say we i was kind of like well you know i was an innocent bystander at the time but i'm like right right at the time looking back essentially what happened was 12 kids <laughs> launched this three foot asian kid at least 20 feet in the air <laughs> And like, like he a laundry. tried, yeah, he tried to do like I don't know if you've ever seen like an Olympic diver doing their like the twists and right. whatnot before a clean entry. He tried to make it cool and like so that uh, he, he he tried, tried to, to corkscrew, it, right? Yeah, he tried to make it. He was out. trying to, you know, he was trying to land on his legs and like everyone was just gonna, <laughs> right? He right. wasn't scared. He was thinking, I'm gonna land this. It's gonna be the shit. And it wasn't right. until landing. he landed face first on the ground. Oh, fuck. This kid, this. This kid didn't come back to school for like six months. <laughs> like had surgery. It was like they took the teeter totter away. It, like the it changed. <laughs> that was a bad. That changed it. You know if they take a piece of equipment off of a schoolyard, that was a bad. Injury. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Right. Like it was the worst. Like it, it scarred a lot. I remember like one of the richest kids in school is dad's a dentist, and like the only vi <laughs> image I have from George hitting face first and just being dead. Like he's he landed on sand <laughs> and like died, yeah. everything like was covered in sand and dust. It looked like he'd been in a bomb and because he was there was like an imprint of him on the ground but this little rich oh kid God. i just remember it was like I, I was standing everybody resist that joke i was i was yeah. don't do it students in addition to red ass uh, <laughs> on the list of prohibited games pearl harbor is now on the <laughs> list of prohibited games no hiroshima like uh images left in the snow please you guys need to yeah Anyway, so I'm standing behind this uh, super rich kid, and uh, my own last image is just him turning around and like looking over, like over top of me, and just like everybody run! And so <laughs> there was like a few heroes that knew that that was overreactionary that stood around and like would help, wanted to help George <laughs> because George right. is lying there. But this little rich kid just turned around, everybody run! And fucking. It like cockroaches and light, just gone. Yeah, and I can't. You know what's funny about that is I used to. So uh, when I was in school for animation, one of the big things we used to have to do is this pillow run cycle. So it was like a big fat pillow like running away, but it's like where the shoulders are all arched back and the belly's forward, you know, Disney style. And that's what I picture a little Dave looking like when he ran away. <laughs> just a little sausage with a mop of lesbian hair on. Sauntering as fast as it can. Amazing. Um, I, okay, so it, just because, I don't know, whatever, maybe it's, you said the Asian, maybe it's the flying thing. Uh, similar. It's a very similar story. This kid named Tan. Um, first day, grade nine, gym class. Mm -hmm. He brings uh, pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I didn't like Tan. This is the, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do anything with this one because we were not friends. Uh, kid was a dick. Anyway. Uh, that's why I like this story so much. So our gym teacher, he's sitting there. He's like old school gym teacher too, like football coach as well. Just sitting there and running through like what we're going to do that year. Cause there's, you know, first there's grade nines too. Right. So he's, he's trying to be nice to everybody, but he's no nonsense. And he goes, all right, now listen, all you idiots up there at the top. Cause we're sitting on those bleachers. Mm -hmm. He goes on the back of these basketball nets. Everybody always tries to jump with somebody. Every goddamn year tries to jump off and grab the basket, the back of the basketball net. <laughs> Don't do it. They're greasy. You're going to get badly hurt. And he goes, and that's it. He just leaves it. Fucking not more than two minutes after class ends, this kid Tan jumps out, puts on one hand. I think his goal was to hold on to it. Swing out, grab the net on the mm -hmm. front, and then like do a cool Monkey little. Bar yeah, his yeah, way yeah. There from the back. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so he jumps out, hand on there. Sure enough, it is greasy as fuck. <laughs> so he goes flying out, full 180 out around to the front of the net, <laughs> straight down on the gym floor on his belly. Oh, oh God. Now, if that's Me. not bad enough, he literally springs right back up to his feet and goes. <laughs> 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 and then drops again. The oh gym God. teacher has turned around 
And he's like, oh, mother. Mm." And he's like, did he grab the back of the net? (laughs) Who saw it? Did he grab the back? God. And he goes over. He's like, all right, get up. And he's like. Uh, So that one was great. I didn't give a shit about that kid. He was an asshole. Never saw him again. I don't know how he, maybe he's dead. (laughs) Uh, yeah, so anyway, that one was fun. Maybe it's just a, a thing. Gym injuries, man. They're, yeah. They happen. They have, there are so many of them. Like, even like growing up and like turning into an adult, like I got myself into some pretty good shape. Uh, like by the by late 20s. But That's like, what people get into shape saying. I, I got myself into yeah. some pretty good shape. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm, and I, I got a pillow's a shape. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, used to, I lost a lot of weight playing like pickup hockey. Yes, you did. Playing pickup hockey and like uh, for sure working out and whatnot too. And there was a yeah. while I, I was shedding weight. Uh, I was still playing music and I, I was, uh, you were a good-looking lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I played a lot of pickup basketball, and that's where I'm going to transition Bob into his next injury story. Bob, do you want to talk about the time <laughs> I broke your ankle? <laughs> Dave remembers this story a little differently than I do. I just I'm remember so you in. refusing to go to the hospital for an injury, Hold I'm on. sure. I want to try something. Yeah, Dave, like leave the room. Dave, put your headphones down and get out. Oh, this will be a good. Oh, way to I'm going to tell story. the story and then you can come back and tell it. Okay, okay I'll text you when he's done. Okay, yeah. Dave. Da- uh, Brian will text you when Bob's finished. All right, I'm a- This is going to be amazing. I'm excited. This is yeah. I want to. I want to hear this. I'm excited. I should have done right. the same with the coffee one. Okay, go ahead, Bobby. <laughs> is is Davey gone? I think he's gone. All right, so we were both fat lesbians. Sure. And we uh, we we wanted to get in uh, in some shape. Yeah. yeah. Some <clears throat> so shape. we played. <laughs> We would, we would go uh, maybe three, four times a week to open gym and just play basketball. We'd play basketball like crazy. I was still working out at this point and I was losing yep. weight like crazy and got into really good shape. And we, we would just like, we would just play one on one forever. Now, yeah, it was long ago. Um, and I remember like, it was, we had a, we had a blast like playing together all the time. Yeah, yeah, of course. But then open, open gyms being what they are. Mm-hmm. Other people join in and right, right, right. That's fine, right? So we were playing. Eventually, our uh, our one on one game got like into like a three on three or four on four, yeah. just in a basket. And uh, I've always had terrible ankles. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> Keith is mainly ankles. Yeah, and I jump. <laughs> this isn't a I jammed my finger story. Oh God. Um, and I, we, we switched off. I was, he was on one team and I was on the other and I stepped on a, the back of some guy's heel and mm. turned my ankle and I just sucks. lost it. Like, yeah. it, it. It sucks shit. Now, what Dave will say is that we, <laughs> we were playing a one-on-one game and he gave me the biggest crossover of life. <laughs> And both my ankles spontaneously combusted. <laughs> okay. Oh, and... so Dave is literally thinking he's your Achilles heel. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, but uh, yeah, the real the real story is is that I, uh, I I stepped on the back of some guy's heel. Dave was not popped, even on the floor. Popped at the time. one ankle. I've <laughs> I've already popped the other one at some point. And uh, and yeah, didn't didn't go to the hospital right away. He just, thinks he's giving you the crisscross applesauce just, and made just the greatest wa- yeah. move of his life. Just okay. So Dave is going to tell this story like he's Allen Iverson. Just walked right. it off, but I needed I needed some I needed some weeks to recover. So we stopped okay. playing basketball, and we haven't played basketball since. Um, Dave tries to tell everybody he retired you, and he's also trying to spin the ball on his finger at the same time. So he has so to say I it like sixty three times till he gets listen, it right. I don't want to predict the future, <laughs> but. When I step away from these headphones, 100%, that's what he's going to say, because he okay, always bugs me back. about All it. All right, call him back. Let's I'm see. calling him back now. Thank you very okay. much for your candor. Thank uh, now you very much. I'm, I'm taking off. Am I taking off right now, or Until am I waiting here, for David? But... Yeah, give it a second. Give it a second. Yeah. He's come, he'll come back. That's amazing. Um, how long were you out? Uh oh, uh, like months. Like we did. I, 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 oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bad, my ankle. Bad, bad. I've always had terrible ankles. So right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both. So both they, braces both. now and yeah. Right. No. Oh, yeah. I've done both my ankles multiple times. Hey, guess who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> Guy with the skinny legs. Guy Kicked with no a whole ankle. bunch of motherfuckers in the face with them too. <laughs> Guy with no they ankles. Worked out great. So. Uh, all right. So we're okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Bob. Oh, hey, I guess Dave. Bob doesn't have to leave, but Bob, you're not allowed to say anything. 
So just stay, but you can't say a well, word. Well, hold on, hold on one second. I, I okay, I'm no, gonna step away, but I'm gonna come okay. back in the middle of the conversation, and okay. I will. I won't say anything, and you let me know when I can. He is gonna Perfect. step away, but it's like kind of like podcast match game right now. It's amazing. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. okay. I'm gone. Perfect, Davey, Go for it. What happened? All right. So I'm not uh, sure how Bob premised the story. But Doesn't matter. Yeah. You tell it your. You tell it your so way. So Bob and I were both musicians, and but I was on a the like, Project Awesome kick where I was trying to drop about 40 pounds off of my life, and sure. so again in the gym, playing uh, playing like working out and whatnot. And oh, I thought you were going to say you went to the abortion clinic. <laughs> oh Jesus. What? So we're playing one day, and like it got to the point where like Bob and I drank a lot while we gig too. Like we we're still in our 20s. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. And so early 30s, but I was drinking vodka sodas a lot. So my Under Armour shirt is stained with uh, white stuff. Like I was wearing a black Under Armour shirt. Oh, God. And like there, okay. there was like white rims around my armpits where all the... the So far, this is identical. Bob's told the exact same thing about your white rims around <laughs> All the armpits. salt from the soda coming out of me from the oh, night. My God. Because I was drinking vodka sodas thinking... I, Wait, you're sweating salt? Yeah, because I... Well, oh, God, you monster. I was losing weight, but... You know when you throw out the Brita filter at the end of the month? That's basically what we're describing. <laughs> That's here. right. I was, I was drinking... I was thinking I was drinking vodka sodas to be healthy, not drinking beer or anything, but at the same time, yeah, I was yeah. drinking... I so, did literally the same thing, yep. So many vodka sodas that it was coming through my Under Armour shirt. <laughs> Playing well, though. Anyway, I had some good moves, and so... I get that. I get sushi out my armpits when I'm sweating sometimes. <laughs> so Bob, what the fuck are you talking about, man? That's not normal. <laughs> Bob's playing D one time, and I I just literally schooled him to the point where he didn't know what to do. I'm going around him, and <laughs> his ankle just rolls over. And I leave Bob in the dust. I go in and I dunk it, <laughs> or whatever I do. I talk off. <laughs> <laughs> like he's on the ground going ah and i think i shot it through the hole and it landed on his face uh is that the part that he talked about where identical, like you're yeah, describing teen identical. wolf right now dave jesus <laughs> yeah so a lot like that teen wolf bob's uh bob <laughs> bob ends up not 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 playing the best d he could and he's on the ground sure. and he his ankle's completely blown up and to the point where i'm looking down like jesus christ bobby he's rolled it over and there's now he's starting to get like four or five people other around him like he's it's swollen up to the size of a wait hold on i thought this was one-on-one so how were they like were there just other people at the there, gym yeah there's like that? 12 hoops in the oh, no okay. whole gym right, right? Okay. but bob okay. is clear like his ankles everybody was just standing off to the side watching you play yeah right? yeah yeah it was like, like, like white, a crowd had it, gathered like it was like that final move in white like probably two people on one side like two on the other or something you know like what that? the final move in white men can't jump where <laughs> where Billy throws it up in the air and yep. or whatnot and Wesley Snipes throws it up and the guy the white kid finally dunks it at the end, right? Right, right, right. That yeah. I what a I stupid fucking movie. I did that to myself. <laughs> ever. I did that to myself except <laughs> Bobby was on the ground not playing the D that that Wesley Snipes was getting. Right. Anyway, so we all gather around Bob and his ankles blowing up and I'm like, Bob, you need to like you need to get this checked out. Like I love playing basketball with Bob. It was the best. And he's like, yeah. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Six months later, after this basketball game, he's still limping. Like Bob never went and got it checked out. I think Bob still hasn't <laughs> played basketball because he's like, Ah, oh, my ankles always had an issue. It's because it got like I swear every tendon in his ankle blew up from this crossover oh mm. from this great crossover i did <laughs> now he's gonna claim Amazing. probably that did he claim that he stepped on my foot you know what i'm not gonna say bob, anything bob, if you rejoined let's us wait. yet we'll let bobby come back in and we'll we'll see okay so he, oh no i'm here <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's compare notes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the newly. Let's hold up the cards. Bob, could you tell us how many people were on the floor? Anal. <laughs> how did we do, guys? I came in halfway through the story. So Bob, did, it sounds uh, like you both came in halfway through the story because they are not the same. <laughs> so Bob's Bob's ankles blowing up. They're, everyone's really concerned. We're all kind of like, no, yeah, nobody nobody's disputing that. Bob, I think it actually like, him and I might have been playing on a, a different game. It might have been a two on two game at that point. Oh, oh. and well, that's closer. You guys are getting closer. All right, mm -hmm. but either way, Bob was guarding me until he was not. If you know, what it I'm was saying. a four on four game. <laughs> okay, four on four now. Now mm -hmm. we're. Meet in the middle even. Yeah, fine. Two on two. Sure. <laughs> uh, Dave couldn't keep checkout? up with me, so he was matched up against somebody else. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that from when he took a little break to get some water, he saw me go down. 
<laughs> so literally <laughs> not on the floor is what you're saying. <laughs> Getting, and then getting, when everybody ran over to, to Bob, <laughs> Dave grabbed the ball, crisscross, applesauce, <laughs> threw it up, and then like, oh, didn't make the dunk, but attempted it. All right. So did he did he tell you that he gave me a massive crossover? Yes, he did. Yes. And that's yes. the result of Look, my no ankle blowing it. up instantly. <laughs> I'm not saying who's right or wrong, but Bob absolutely <laughs> called your version of this story. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Man, I miss those days. I miss those play, playing ball. It's not going to happen again. I'm not going to No, go because you never got <laughs> yeah. it fixed. Bob is so stubborn. <laughs> There's no fixing he's, it. He's what on the ground. Do, I'm yeah? like, Bob, you've ruptured some tendons. You at least need to get like a doctor to look at it and like tell you if there's something ripped oh. and how you can rehab it like ah oh, no it's fine six months later you're walking around like a pirate and <laughs> like <laughs> at your gigs and like are you gonna get this looked at like you're doing permanent damage you're like ah oh, no it's fine it's uh, like it's always gonna be it's always gonna be this way limping around uh, <laughs> and, uh closing one eye drinking rum yeah pirate oh do you still Amazing. have a, do you still have a hard time running around bob i do look at me of course i do <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We were just two shitty white dudes playing basketball. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. And this is. There's no glory in this the whatsoever. The kids are both eight. We were still young enough to <laughs> burn, yeah. burn off all the two, alcohol we were drinking. Yeah, two, po- two <laughs> points in, we were sweaty messes. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. Well, you know, this fucking like, guy's talking about sweating salt like it's okay. It yeah, did you slip I on was, a puddle of sweat? I was literally human salt lick when I was playing. <laughs> I was so dehydrated. <laughs> So gross. It was awesome, man. <laughs> Can uh, I tell the story about my first concussion? Please. That'll fall under injuries. Grade <laughs> nine, I play football because I think I'm cool now. Okay. And Dave's blocking you. And I <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> and so I was a hundred and what, fifteen pounds, soaking sure. wet, maybe, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was mm-hmm. a th- there was three of us. We 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 were backup running backs. They called us the baby backs. It's embarrassing now to think about. So, <laughs> oh, we so thought we, that name was cool, right? Up until now. Yeah, I thought so too. I until said that I out said it. in a while. <laughs> really wish I hadn't got it sewed into my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, f- football. I mean, like you know, the, the back then, like helmets weren't that great. Right, concussions right. Mm. really weren't on the radar. Yeah, talk uh, about using the same fucking instruments over and over again. <laughs> right, of course. Here's the like, kid who dies last here's, year's helmet. Put it on. Here's here's a helmet. Does it turn all the way around your head? No. Okay, it fits then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. Uh, just put a towel. I hear a real rattling noise when you're fine. Like <laughs> that's a tooth. Continue. <laughs> So, uh, you know, you, people get concussions a lot in football, right? Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of action on the like, head-to-head sure, sure. hits and just, the, you know, hitting the ground or whatever. Like a lot. So we're at practice. It ha- I remember it happening at practice. And uh, it was the end of the day. Do you, and we were or doing, were you told um, it happened at practice? <laughs> <laughs> I was having a drink of water. As, so uh, you're on the side drinking else. water. No. <laughs> um, so I love that your football injury isn't on the field. <laughs> so we're all we're we're doing drills and we're lined up at the uh, at the goal line and we're doing sprints. So we're, do, we're yeah, doing yeah. you know we're doing suicides and the whole thing, and then we're doing uh, crab walk suicides. So okay. we have uh, we have our, our hands yeah like crab walk. Mm-hmm. So we're we're doing for we're all those doing... times that you're gonna crab walk on the football field. <laughs> We're, we're doing these, and I remember, like, we, we were crab walking backwards, back towards the uh, the goal line, and I, sm- I, all of a sudden, like, just bing, I smash my helmet off the goal post. <laughs> yeah. Were you exceptionally good at crab walking? Yeah, because like, how that, fast could you be going? That's that no, like I that wasn't going fast. Bitch on exercise and, and running down the stairs. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't in an actual like scrimmage or game time scenario. Because you know, in my three years of playing football, I never saw the field. But <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't believe I got my first like next couple days just puking and stuff. So that oh was my God. first. My first concussion was oh, crab that's, walking. Oh, that's oh, great! God. Fantastic. You probably made like a cartoonish. Ding like a yeah, bell noise yeah, when you the hit the fucking thing too. Honestly, too. as soon as it happened, I looked around. I was like, "Did anybody see that?" And I'm like, "You know what? It doesn't even matter. Everybody could fucking hear it." <laughs> how fat? Like well, again? Big, how? It's a big giant tuning fork. Of course, it's just gonna keep going. <laughs> Coaches didn't They're say shit. I, 
went and dealt with it myself. How fast were you crab the walking? Fucking, Again, the band kids are all tuning to the. Unless your head myself doing is that made if I of like to. wet tissue. I'm paper. telling you, you're, 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 yeah, you're trying, you're trying to go fast. So I mean, like, try, try right. crab walking, like smashing. No. Yeah, done. I like that scenario in a game. They're like, all right, guys, we got this one kid who can really fucking move. <laughs> are you talking like crab walking, like walking sideways with your hands up, like pinchers? No, no I'm no, talking no. about. <laughs> Or are you talking like I'm talking about? Okay, li- lying on your b- lying lying your back on your back. Your hands uh, are palms down behind no. your. All right, so your that head. crab walk. You're- like I'm saying, how do you go fast enough where you can cuss yourself unless your brain is t- wet tissue paper? Yeah. Also, so yeah, real quick. I used to do this uh, much like when I kicked Dave's cup out of his hand. There, <laughs> uh, this started way early on. Um, I used to just with my friends. So I don't want to get into the fucking bully thing again. But uh, <laughs> just a little, you know. Notice how he puts that on us immediately. <laughs> Ryan, That's what I can't see what he's doing. Did he put friends up in quotations? <laughs> with his fingers? <laughs> <laughs> so I used to do this thing. I would run in front of my friends. I would jump up in front of them. And then I would back kick like the books out of their hand. Like if they're if you're holding them, you know what I mean? Underneath. If I see. That's a risky move. It was always fine. Okay. Until this day. <laughs> okay. And so, so it wasn't. You no, know, yeah, that's right. So grade ten, and oh man, I'm I'm pretty good at this trick. This is a good good party trick I can do. He's one for three lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running at my buddy. I see him chatting with a girl, so it's an even better one. I think he's being a gentleman and like holding her books, and I'm just gonna fuck this moment up for him. <laughs> so I start running down the hall, and I jump up, and I'm about to kick him. Now I will say, my high school when we were in grade ten, we used to have to be in like they put like ten portables together, like yeah, they yeah, just yeah. smashed them all together. Right. Um. This trick would normally be reserved for those 13 foot high hallways, right? In like high schools. So you don't, there's no, I don't have to worry about this. Yep. The look on my fucking friend's face when I jumped up in front of him, I was like, what? And I turned and I took the cross beam of the uh, the doorway. <laughs> oh, I was predicting an exit sign. It, it just did. I mean, yeah. I almost hit the exit sign because it was right on the other side. So I hit it and I fucking, I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I come to and I'm so embarrassed because there's all kinds of girls around too, right? Like, and I'm, I'm like, just I'm, I try to pretend I didn't just knock myself unconscious. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just wait, what? Who Looks like it? I fooled all you yeah, guys. You guys are idiots, right? <laughs> and then I just go and I start barfing and I fall down <laughs> and I wake up in an ambulance. Oh no way! <laughs> Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. So, but while I'm waking up, the guy whose books I'm gonna kick, my buddy Mike, is laughing in the corner. He's fucking, he's doubled over laughing so hard. In the ambulance? No, no, not in okay. the ambulance. Before that, before <laughs> I was really before one person kid. in the ambulance, and it's him, and he's just <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That'd be amazing. The first time I try to stand up and be like, "Hey, what guys? Hey, Fonzie, hey I'm cool. No, I'm like, cool. That's the first time I've ever heard that story. That's incredible. Yeah, it's not one I usually tell. No, no <laughs> shit. I'm not. A, I'm not a bully, but here's one of me being vulnerable. <laughs> Ah, fuck whatever. Uh, so I certainly got my comeuppance that day. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good one. And that's an injury. And you waited till about yes. an hour and 20 minutes in to tell your injury. <laughs> the one time you've concussed yourself. I debated, uh, I debated right up to the you end. Put that in for tell one reason. Story. Save the cat. That's all I'm fucking saying. That's your save the cat moment. Anyway. Sorry, you were going to say uh, something. So guess who didn't meet me at the hospital? Uh, <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember being at like the front, you know, because they would just they just signed me out mm-hmm. after a while because like I was ready to like I was fine to go home, <laughs> but they're like so like is someone at home like where you know and I'm like I think oh they're home yeah I'm like I think so and like okay well you can't go to sleep and I'm like okay meanwhile you've got to walk home from yeah the I just hospital, walked home from the hospital past the fucking Timberwolf yeah. house yeah exactly <laughs> so I just walked home they're in there I tell them what happened they're like holy fuck night. <laughs> so anyway yeah that was a good time i just went right to sleep yeah. <laughs> all right everybody i guess that's gonna do it for this episode uh if you get concussed don't go to sleep have a good one we'll see you next week maybe you maybe me I don't have an answer Different view, different scene You're happy ever after It's alright, it's okay uh, Here beside me It's alright, it's okay Just bang on the phone Now and then, I pretend That you never left me I lie away, try to take Yeah.
so fun on tonight. Let me know how you are, so that I won't worry. Maybe you get a shoe and take me away. Phone on tonight. Maybe you, maybe me.